it. But so, Adrian, last time we met, we, we talked about graphene products and you showed me some amazing things. And there, but there's, there are some graphene products that are true graphene products, and there are some that are graphite products, but just badged up. This, which camp does this one sit in? Definitely graphene. I was quite surprised. I expected it to be graphite dressed up as graphene because you get a lot of that at the moment with all the hype that's going on, but these guys have done the proper science. So what it is, Absolute Black have developed, um, they've looked into this, they've tried putting graphite onto lubricant for bicycle chains and they've found that as the moisture increases, what happens is the graphite stops acting as a lubricant and or it actually it affect, uh, when it gets drier it stops acting as a lubricant so the, the, the moisture in the air actually helps it so this is the reason they went to graphene so the problem is you can't just dust graphene onto something and expect it to work they put in a huge amount of effort and since you raised this um, uh, piece of technology i had to look into the science behind it which is quite good fun actually because <laughs> And what they've done is they've, um, they've first of all developed the graphene and it's a mixture of crumpled graphene and non-crumpled graphene, which tells me they know the science. They're working. Um, and what they're doing is they've put the graphene into paraffin wax and then made a wax graphene composite. And then what they've done is they've, dis they've melted the wax and then dispersed it in water. So you can imagine making a salad dressing. Then what they've done is they've managed to make the oil and the water mix together and then stay together, which is quite a cool trick forming this emulsion so what you did then do is paint it onto your uh, bicycle chain give it all really good clean and paint it onto the chain and the cogs and then the wax the water helps the wax droplets get to where they want you then dissolve the uh, sorry evaporate the water away and then the wax fills all the gaps and the cracks in and gets where oil can't and because it's graphene it the wax and the graphene then coat the surface the bits that oil can't reach and they stay there in use and it seems to work. So, and well, when I flagged this up to you, uh, my favourite bit about this was I flagged it up to you, and straight away you got your crack graphene team on the case. Yes. And uh, you came up with, uh, you told me that it might have a specific technology in it. And I, what was that technology? Because I, I forget. So yes, the, uh, the new technology, it's not quite what's in Absolute Black's product, but this is a separate one that's been developed by Argonne National Laboratory in America and it's called nano diamonds so if you can imagine <laughs> yeah, tiny nanoscopic ball bearings and what they do is they wrap them in sheets of graphene that are equally nanoscopic called nano scrolls and these then act as uh, i can't say miniature because it's a thousand times smaller than microscopic uh, at that level and they form these ball bearings which completely eliminate friction at, uh, between two surfaces it's really cool stuff Right, okay, so how do they make those uh, nano diamonds then? This has got to be the coolest job in science and technology. <laughs> <laughs> you get some graphite and then you wrap it in something called trinitrotoluene, which you may or may not have heard of. Think of the initials in there, trinitrotoluene, T-N-T. <laughs> <So, laughs> yeah, explosive. So you wrap graphite in high explosive put it in a chamber and boom, set it off. And out comes nano diamonds at the end of it. What a cool job that is. <laughs> well, honestly, do you know what? It's such a good job that we met. Next time I get another graphene question, you know what I'm doing, I'm coming straight to you. Amazing, thank you so much. And I'll oh, speak welcome. to you soon. Cheers, Pleasure. buddy. See you later. Bye-bye.